Hello everybody. Alright, today we're talking about CPU GPU mining. Uh, we're going to be using the app MinerGate. Uh, go ahead and click the link below in the description and go ahead and sign up if you are interested in mining with your GPU or CPU. Um, go ahead and uh, jump right into the website. Right, we have uh, up at the top left there affiliate program, info about the blockchains, calculator. Let's go over that. So I'm at uh, about a 10 on mega hashes and breaks it down to Ethereum, Ethereum Classic. Tells you how much you'd be making on average about per hour, 24 hours a week. Um, it's an average because it's based on how many blocks the pool finds in a given day, uh, hour, or week. And they have the other coins that they offer, the crypto notes, Litecoin, Dashcoin, Monero, uh, Script, Litecoin. Litecoin's pretty much ASIC only now. Uh, Zek, so Zcash. Bitcoin Gold is ASIC. I'm not sure about that though. Uh, cloud mining. I don't cloud mine personally. Now let's go to the downloads. This is where you're going to go ahead and uh, download the program. They do have a council miner, but we're going to be focusing on the GUI miner. They have it for Windows, Mac, uh, Ubuntu, Fedora. Go ahead and go over the dashboard. At the very top, you're going to see your overall account status. This is all the coins uh, put together. You can interchange the currency. Yeah, it wants to... oh, there we go. Uh, to USD, Euro. I got about 53 cents, and that's of Ethereum Classic. Over here, you have your good shares. That's what determines how much you get paid when a block is found. Uh, bad shares go against you. If you're the one that, I'm not sure what happens if you're the one that finds the block, uh, it's probably not going to be you. And then obviously your balance is going to be increased when the block is confirmed. It takes X amount of network cycles for the blocks to become confirmed. And that's when it goes up here into your confirmed balance, assuming you meet the minimum requirement for that coin. Over on the right hand side we have move down and move up. That changes the priority of a certain coin for you. So if you're mostly mining, uh, like for me right now, I'm mining Ethereum Classic, I put that right up top. You can get to one that has it. Interchange between PPS and PPLNS. PPLNS is getting paid when the block is found and PPS is getting paid for doing work uh, so it's primarily used for testing purposes it does have a higher fee uh, I recommend PPLNS at the very right we have withdrawal that's pretty self-explanatory um, you can withdraw to your wallet Pay the network fee, validation code, uh, there is two-factor authentication. Pool stats. This is where you find out how many blocks have been found in a certain amount of time for coins. Right now we're on uh, Ethereum. Uh, you can see one was found 16 hours, or excuse me, six hours ago, and then 18 hours before that. Uh, a day ago they had three uh, blocks found. I'm doing Ethereum Classic right now has a little better stats two three hours ago one four hours ago uh, one two three four five six seven, eight blocks in a day uh, XMR is pretty popular Monero the site likes to push it for some reason uh, I do like Monero but they have their blog uh, service monitor just kinda tells you what's going on with all the coins that's uh, that's pretty much it uh, over here you can change your language you have several to choose from 
But uh, that's pretty much it for the website. They have some chat and support over on the right. But now let's go ahead and go over the uh, the main desktop app. So this is the overall uh, <clears throat> uh, full version. The download that you get comes with uh, the light version and then what they call the extended version which is this one. The lighter version you don't actually log into it you just log into it with your email there's no passwords but it also has no access to your wallet it just simply mines. The other one that does use your password and two excuse me two-factor authentication has access to your wallet and uh, stats about how much coin you have. So we have our wallet I'm not going to go into that. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, they have a smart miner. In my experience, it's only mine uh, Monero. It says it's supposed to mine the best currency, but I have yet to see that. Maybe they fixed it. You can go ahead and try it, but I'm, I'm not going to because uh, mining makes the video lag because it does use the GPU. Next we have the miner. This is where you can actually start CPU and GPU mining. It's as simple as hitting start mining. For uh, CPU you can drop down select how many cores you want to use. Over to the left on the full version you do have your current coin count. Your good shares, bad shares, last, share difficulty, unconfirmed balance, any merged mining going on. Merged mining is when you mine one coin with another coin at the same time. You can do that with some of these currencies. We have our benchmark. You can put your hardware up against other miner gates hardware and see how you fare. They have achievements. This is just kind of cool. Uh, I don't, they don't really get you anything, but they're neat. Of course, they have a support. Uh, help, options, <clears throat> logs, view. So this is how you add coins to your mining list. So if I wanted to, say, take uh, Zcash off, I would just uncheck that. Now if I go back to miner, you see Zcash is missing. And if I add it back in, there it is. I'll go ahead and log out and just show you the simple version. Uh, we'll just go ahead and hit start mining. And you can see it's pretty much exactly the same except there's no wallet. And there's no uh, financial ish, um, information here. No coin count. But if you do mine with it, you are collecting coin. It's good for uh, drones that maybe don't have the best security on them. You just want to boot them up and mine away and never... Think about them again, whereas the other version might be uh, for your main rig, depending on how you're mining. Uh, I would like to mention, too, that there is a companion app for Android and uh, iOS. You can mine uh, a few coins with your smartphone. However, I don't generally recommend it as you're not going to generate a lot of coin and it's just going to burn your battery out. However, it is there and it does have information on uh, if your miner is running, it'll be green and it actually sends you a message and tells you if the miner stopped or started. Uh, and it also tells you how much coinage you have and you can check the pool stats as well. Uh, that's it for this video. Everyone have a great day and thanks for checking us out.